Okay, so today we will create a super jump pickup. Which for a temporary period of time will enable the player to jump really high. Thereby reaching this platform, which is unreachable right now. And the effect will last for about 5 seconds. So, we will start by creating the mesh. I will simply use the template cube. Right click it, create copy. Call it super jump mesh. And I will give it material. Whatever. Walnut. Yeah, sure, walnut is good. Then, to actually create a blueprint pickup of it, right click and then create blueprint using and I will name it pickup already exists okay, like this then inside the pickup, select the static mesh and in details go down to collision in collision presets make sure it's overlap all like this and in the graph the magic will happen so select the static mesh right click add event collision on component begin overlap So a pickup works like it's a mesh and then the, the player touches it and it disappears. So we have to destroy it when the player touches it. So destroy, destroy actor. And that will make sure the pickup is destroyed but we will do a lot until that has to happen. So I will just put it over there, over here far gone and then we want this actor static mesh pickup to do something to the actor so we will cast a spell to the character spell on to the character yes cast to character this might be named player in your in your engine I don't know So what will we cast to the character? We will cast something to the movement of the character. To the jump movement, which is the z-axis. So first we have to define that it's actually the movement that's gonna be changed. So character movement. Get character movement. And what kind of movement? jump so we will set jump set jump z velocity like that and you will have to you know try different kinds of z velocities in order to make sure that your specific character can jump high enough for your specific game but I've already know that to reach my platform it needs to be set to 800 so if we just try this now we can get the destroy actor and just make sure that the character now actually can jump as high as I want so we will just connect all of this and it should be good Find the blueprint. First, save. Drag it into the scene, and we have the hugest blue <laughs> pickup in reality. Please become a little bit small. Thank you. Zip. Like that. This is the book of magic. 
When the player reads this book, he will know how to jump super high. Yeah, like that. So, let's see. I can't jump higher than this right now. Pick this up, and I can reach it. Yes! Whee! But, now I will be able to jump like this for the rest of the game, you know? And that's not what I want. I want it to just last for 5 seconds. So, we will go out again and into the blueprints. So we will have to set, save, create a new set of these that resets the jump velocity. So I will simply copy all of these these three because we will need those. Control C, Control V. And then I already know that the Z velocity that ish matches what it was originally is 430. I've just tested, you know, to see. I don't know what it actually was. Um, and then we could just connect this, but we want the pickup to disappear as soon as you pick it up. So I started by trying to destroy it and then reset the velocity, but what happened was that the velocity didn't get reset because the actor was destroyed, so we have to just hide the pickup and not destroy it in order to make this the rest of the code work, you know. So the next thing after set is to hide the actor set actor hidden in game then make sure you check new hidden and then after this is done you have new cast to character because because now we will cast the you know the removal of the skill to jump high and we can do this by creating a delay which says how long this effect will last so I will create a delay flow control delay and I want it to be about 5 seconds I don't really know if this is seconds or not but seems to be pretty pretty much the correct one Oh, oh, we have to take the delay first, after hidden, then delay, like this, and then connect delay to the new cast. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. And then, finally, we will connect the last set to destroy. So. Now you can see, it begins with cast a character, making sure the pickup works, that you can jump really high, then hide the pickup, and then we will delay how long the effect lasts, and then a new cast to reset the effect. And there might be multiple ways to do this, you know, that might be more efficient than this one, but I know at least that this works. So now we will see. Pick it up. And I'm able to jump really high. And then after 5 seconds. Should jump. No. It keeps on jumping. Super jumping. Okay, I've done something wrong then. What have I forgotten? Oh, oh, of course. Connect cast to character to set. Or else, how will it know anything? So we try again. Boom. J 
jump, reach the platform. And it's jumping, and it's jumping. And it's still jumping. And I'm starting to wonder, have I done something wrong? Cast to character. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have to connect cast to character, both of them, to this first original one. Newbie mistake, that happens. Now, <laughs> it should work. Boom, and he jumps like an awesome Superman. And now, he cannot jump again. So now it's correct. So, this is it. Make sure everything is connected. Both the caster characters must be connected to this first one. And all of these must be connected. And there you have it. Super jump pickup.